In this video, we'll see how to stream on a DeCast live channel using the vMix software encoder. First, go to your live channel section. If you have a live channel that you wish to use, click its name to access it. Or click Create to add a new live channel, called Webcam in my example. I'll stream on an HTML5 channel, but you can stream on all types of DeCast live channels with vMix. Once you've clicked on your live channel, go into the Encoder Setup section. Choose the vMix encoder, and if you don't have vMix, you can download it here. Note that this software encoder is for PC only. Over here is the information from your live channel that you'll need later for setting it up in vMix. Open vMix by clicking its icon. The first step is to define your streaming input, so click Add Input. There are many options here, such as video or DVD, but I'll be streaming from my webcam. I'll choose Camera and choose my webcam. What my webcam is capturing now appears here on the right, as well as down here on the left. From this point, there are two ways to launch your DeCast live stream. The first method uses DeCast's integration in vMix, and the second method uses the stream information from your DeCast account. I'll demonstrate both methods, using two different stream qualities, so you'll also see how to set up a multi-bitrate stream. I'll start with the DeCast method. Click the gear icon next to Stream. From the Destination drop-down menu, choose DeCast. The username and password here are the ones you use to log into your DeCast account, not the codes listed in your encoder setup. Click Login and Update Channels, then choose your channel from this drop-down. Next, I need to set the streaming quality. From the drop-down, choose H264, 480p, 500 kilobytes per second. You could choose a different video bitrate depending on your internet connection, which I'll explain later. Then click the gear icon for quality. The important setting here is keyframe frequency, which should be set at 2 seconds. Click Save. Now I'll set up my second stream destination using the manual method. In the stream settings, click on Stream 2. From the destination drop-down menu, choose Custom RTMP Server. Now I need to enter these two fields to connect to DeCast. Back in DeCast, I'll return to the encoder setup and select and copy the stream URL. I'll paste that into vMix here. I'll do the same for stream name. To complete the connection, I'll click Advanced. The username and password are these two six-digit codes from the encoder setup. I'll uncheck Use Stream 1 Quality, and this time I'll choose a lower video quality, H264, 240p, 300 kilobytes per second. This way the total bit rates used for my live stream is below 1 megabyte per second, which represents 50% of my upload speed. This is our standard recommendation for a successful live stream. Once you're ready, you could click Start to begin streaming, or click Save and Close to stream later. Back in the main vMix window, I can start streaming by clicking the Stream button. Back into Cast, click Publish Settings. Here are the share codes I can use to display my stream in a browser tab. But first, I can make sure that the stream is working correctly by clicking the Preview button. When I click the gear icon at the bottom of the preview window, I can see the streaming quality. If I click on this, I can see the two different video qualities I set up in vMix. The player will automatically select the best quality based on your download speed. If you have any issues with your stream or other questions about DeCast, please contact our 24-7 customer support team.